Hi everyone, myself Sham Sundar. So I am the top educator in India. So in the last, I have the eight years of experience. In the last eight year of experience, I have taught thousand number of students in the entire country, and I have the so vast experience in the competitive field. So in the mechanical engineering. So that is about myself. That is about myself. Now today I am going to explain the subject thermodynamics. In the subject thermodynamics, let us see the subtopics. What are the subtopics today we are going to learn in this PPT slide presentation? Okay. So in the introduction to thermodynamics, let us see the few subtopics. So these are the very important and crucial topics to understand the further thermodynamics. So the first one comes here: temperature. In the temperature. So the subtopics are temperature and its physical meaning. Not only understand the definition will not help you. So you must understand the physical meaning with the actual definition. When you understand the physical meaning, then your subject will be beautiful and you can you can also you can also easily you can you, there is no chance to forget the subject. There is no chance to forget even a definition. What is the meaning of physical meaning? Physical meaning if you for example, if I say if you see a movie, it will be easy to imagination. It is easy to recapture, right? So in the same way, so physical meaning is also important. So next thing we have to see why 273 is added and it's what's the meaning of absolute zero. Next we have to see the what is the Kelvin temperature scale and absolute temperature. The second topic comes here pressure. So and again, what's the pressure and its physical meaning? So every time we must understand the physical meaning. Next third one, volume and its physical meaning. And fourth comes here macroscopic and microscopic approach of thermodynamics, and we, we must we have to see the examples and applications. Okay, so let me let me start. What is temperature? So, uh, my dear students, general definition, right? So, in a standard student, or if you ask a like a twelfth standard student or engineering student, the general definition is given by them is so temperature. So, what is this temperature? The degree of hotness or coldness. The degree of hotness or coldness. So this is the general or the casual definition of temperature. So let us understand what is the physical meaning of temperature. So let us take a container. So in the container we have gas molecules. Let us let us assume that the gas molecules are moving. The gas molecules are in the motion. So what happens whenever the gas molecules are moving or the gas molecules are in motion, the temperature will increase. The temperature will increase. Whenever the gas molecules are slowing and decreasing its motion, then the temperature will decrease. Whenever the gas molecules are in the rest, whenever the gas molecules in the rest or the standstill condition, then there is no change in temperature. So that is the physical meaning of temperature. That means if I want to explain the physical meaning of temperature in one in a single line, it is a measure. It is a measure or index of kinetic energy of molecules. That means temperature is related to the kinetic energy of molecules. That means whenever the molecules, whenever the molecules are moving, the temperature will increase. Whenever the molecules are slowing down, the temperature will decrease. So whenever the molecules are in the rest, are in the rest or standstill condition, then there is no change in temperature. That means temperature is a measure or the index of kinetic energy of molecules. So now let us understand uh, the Kelvin temperature scale. What is this Kelvin temperature scale? We have so let us you know that so whenever a person suffering from fever, generally he will go to a hospital. Right? The first so whenever we meet a doctor, he will take. A thermometer and we will measure the temperature of the, the particular person. That means we have like Celsius scale, we have Fahrenheit scale, we have Kelvin scale. So in the Kelvin temperature scale, first of all, the Kelvin is a scientist name. So he constructed a scale. So that is a name Kelvin temperature scale. In the Kelvin temperature scale, the lowest possible temperature is minus 273. So in the in the subject thermodynamics, there should not be any negative value. So when there is a negative value, there is no meaning in the analysis of the subject thermodynamics. So, so what we have to do, what we have to do as because of this negative sign. So our condition is right. So there should not be negative value. So what we have to do, we have to add a same value with a positive sign that is minus 273 point 
plus 273. That means this negative value, I want to make a positive value. So that is the reason I'm adding plus 273. So I'm finally becoming minus 273 points, minus 273.15 plus 273.15. Generally, we say 273. So minus 273 plus plus 273 is becoming zero. So the, the scale is, this temperature scale is given by the Kelvin. That is the reason I'm saying zero Kelvin. That means in the Kelvin temperature scale, the lowest possible temperature possible is zero Kelvin. So that is the Kelvin temperature scale. Now let us understand what is this absolute temperature scale. So absolute temperature scale, before understanding this absolute temperature scale, first of all, understand what is the absolute zero. What is absolute zero? So absolute zero actually is a state at which molecular motion stop. So at which molecular motion stop. So let us understand. So let us have some crystal clarity, right? Crystal clear clarity. So absolute zero means it is a state with at which molecular motion stop. So generally, when we supply when we supply heat, when we supply heat to the system, the temperature increases. When we sub, when we reject the heat from the system, the temperature decreases. That means at a one particular point. So at a what particular condition it will comes to a state where energy equal to definitely energy will definitely at one point of time the energy will definitely will become zero. So so a state at which energy becoming zero is called absolute zero. So whenever energy becoming zero, so that the corresponding temperature absorbed is minus two seventy three point one five. So that is the absolute zero. So in the now coming to the our our a point absolute temperature scale in absolute temperature scale so the scale which is measured from from absolute zero the, the temperature which is measured from that is here absolute zero is a reference scale absolute zero is a reference scale. so the scale which is started or the reference from the absolute zero is called absolute temperature scale so this is about the absolute temperature scale so absolute temperature scale can be expressed in Kelvin scale. Kelvin scale is also called as absolute temperature scale. Absolute temperature scale is also called as Kelvin scale. So one point you must note here. So there should not be any negative value. So that is a reason we are adding plus 273. So now let us understand the pressure and the physical meaning and absolute pressure and absolute pressure. So pressure generally the definition of pressure is a so in up in eighth standard, if you ask eighth standard, ninth standard, like twelfth standard student, generally they will say the pressure is the norm pressure equal to force per unit area. Force per unit. Okay, that is correct. But so the actual definition of pressure is a normal force exerted by molecules per unit area. So pressure is defined as a normal force exerted by molecules per unit area. So in other way, I can say pressure is the normal. So external normal, external normal compressive force per unit area. Let us take, if you take a one water bottle, if you take a one water bottle, so water bottle, the weight of the water bottle is acting downward. That is normal it's compressive force. That is external normal compressive force per unit area. That is a pressure. Right. Now, if you understand the physical meaning of pressure, physical meaning of pressure, Again, if you take, so if you can say here gas particles in the container, so in the container we have gas. So whenever these gas molecules are moving, then in the pressure case, the pressure is going to increase. The pressure is going to increase. So whenever the gas molecules are slowing down, then the pressure is going to decrease. Pressure is going to decrease. That means, so every gas particles have some velocity, every gas particles have some energy. That means, if I talk about the physical meaning of pressure, it is a rate of change of momentum per unit area. Rate of change of momentum per unit area is a physical meaning of this. So similar to the absolute temperature already have mentioned. What is absolute temperature? Absolute temperature is a temperature which is measured from the absolute zero. Similar to that, absolute pressure means absolute temperature is a pressure which is measured from absolute zero. So you can clearly see absolute pressure is equal to gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure. So absolute pressure is equal to so you can see in the figure clearly, right? Absolute pressure equal to atmosphere plus plus gas pressure. So that is about the absolute pressure. Now let us understand the volume and its physical meaning. So first of all, we know that gas occupies some volume, right? Every gas, every gas occupies some volume, right? So for example, in the first case, in the first case, we, you, if you see, if you if you see the figure. So whenever I supply the Q supply means heat supply. Q supply means heat supply. 
when you supply the heat supply to the gas molecules then what happens so that means volume of the gas increases that means volume of the gas increases in other words i can say that distance between the gas molecules increases that means whenever i am supplying whenever i am supplying the heat to the gas molecules the molecules move away or volume of the gas increases in the second case whenever i am rejecting the heat from the gas molecules that means the molecules comes together molecules in the second case okay molecules comes together or in other words i can say distance between the gas molecules decreases that is about the volume and its physical number we must understand that volume every gas occupies some volume that means in the when you supply the heat to the gas molecule we can clearly see a expansion process is going so whenever we are reflecting the heat from the gas molecule a compression process we can see we can clearly notice that compression and expansion process so that is about the volume and its physical meaning now let us understand the macroscopic and the microscopic approach of thermodynamics so let us uh, before going to the subject of point of view let us give me one example in a classroom right let us have 50 number of students so we have 50 number of students like uh, some uh, like examination was conducted so in a in a mathematics examination conduct in a mathematics examination conducted i want to have a 50 number of student performance that means i'm taking the whole students whole class right means total class performance that is a macroscopic approach if i take the every student individual student performance if i take student by student student by student that is individual or each student performance if i considered then it is a microscopic approach of thermodynamics so let me let me explain one more time if i consider in a classroom examination is conducted so i want to take the performance of the classroom if i take the entire classroom performance so number of students total students performance that is a macroscopic approach of thermodynamics if i take the individual student performance that comes under the microscopic approach of thermodynamics so if i first of all if i talk about the macroscopic approach of thermodynamics so that means in macroscopic approach of thermodynamics it is the average molecules behavior it is the average molecules behavior or i can say group of molecules behavior that means whenever you focus when you whenever you concentrate on the average molecules behavior or the group of molecules behavior then it is a macroscopic approach of thermodynamics let's suppose if you take a container in a container we have gas molecule so in a, so we have different different gas molecules that means one gas molecules are different pressure different velocity different pressure but if i if i measure the temperature that means i am taking the whole molecules behavior temperature even in the case of pressure so now if i talk about the examples where we are going to utilize it, where we are going to use this macroscopic approach thermodynamics in internal combustion engine in ic engines in refrigeration in air conditioning we can use the macroscopic approach of thermodynamics so macroscopic approach of thermodynamics is also called as classical thermo classical thermo in the first figure you can observe clearly so macroscopic approach of thermodynamics is also called as classical thermo so what so in every semester right in it, so whatever the student following so in our btech curriculum so whatever the university so they are studying the classical thermodynamics so whatever the thermodynamics we are studying that is a classical thermodynamics because we are focusing on the only average molecules behavior not on the individual molecules behavior so if i talk about the if i talk about the microscopic approach of thermodynamics that means microscopic of means study of individual molecules study of each study of each or individual molecules that comes under the micro so then so now the name itself indicating micro in the microscopic means micro means what individual or each molecule behavior if you concentrate if you concentrate if you if you focus on the each molecule behavior then it is a microscopic approach of thermodynamics so microscopic of thermodynamics also called statistical thermodynamics statistical thermodynamics so what are the applications if i talk about the applications of microscopic approach thermodynamics in missiles in plasma in laser in missiles plasma laser we are going to use microscopic approach that means so in microscopic approach of thermodynamics high accuracy is required so wherever high accuracy is required there we are utilizing the microscopic approach of thermodynamics so this is about the macro and microscopic approach of thermodynamics so i have everyone got the clear with the 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 core concepts the basics of the thermodynamics so this is the about this is the first topic of the thermodynamics thank you